Let's say we're asked to graph 3x plus 4y equals 12. We start by recognizing that this equation is not in slope-intercept form. So our first task is to get it there. We can accomplish that by solving this equation for y or getting y by itself. To do that, we start by moving the 3x to the right. Since the 3x is being added on the left-hand side, when we move it over to the right, it needs to be subtracted. We can also accomplish this by subtracting 3x from both sides. It does the same thing. Next, we need to isolate the y. Since the 4 is being multiplied by the y, the inverse operation would be division. So if we divide each term of this equation by 4, we get y equals 12 over 4 minus 3 over 4 times x. We can reduce this fraction, 12 over 4, to give us 3, and the negative 3 over 4x just comes along for the ride. Now this is almost in slope-intercept form. The terms are just in the wrong spot. So we can rearrange the terms to y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 3. The nice part about this form is that it tells us what the slope and the y-intercept for this line are. So the slope comes out to be negative 3 over 4, and the y-intercept turns out to be 3. And we can use this information to our advantage. We can use it to come up with a graph pretty painlessly. So first we identify that since the y-intercept is 3, we can place the first dot at y equals 3. Next, we see that the slope is negative 3 over 4. That means we're going to be rising by negative 3, or going down by 3 units, and then running by 4, which is to say we're moving 4 units to the right. So the second dot shows up right there. And if we connect the two dots with a straight line, that's exactly the graph we're looking for. So this graph can be represented as two separate equations y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 3, but also the original one that we started the question with, 3x plus 4y equals 12. Both of these equations are the same exact equation. They're just written in different forms. This is slope-intercept form. This, as we'll learn soon enough, is standard form. They still represent the same line. You can think of these as nicknames. So the name of the line might be y equals negative 3 over 4x plus 3, but its friends might call it 3x plus 4y equals 12.